A lot of you are frustrated dealing with flooding on a regular basis. A lot of you still cleaning up from what you see behind me right now. We're talking about all of that damage and storm surge from Irma. So today we set News News Ashley Osborne to speak with City of Charleston officials about their plan to lessen the burden. And she joins us now from the Charleston Harbor with the very latest. Ashley, tell us what you found out from officials. Well, Carolyn, right now the seawall ends where I am right here on Trad Street. We're right next to the U.S. Coast Guard Station. Part of the city's plan would take the seawall and extend it up to Brittle Bank Park. That's about two miles from where I am right here. Here's the rest of the city's plan and their plans to pay for it in the future. I don't want my phone to die like it did last time this happened. You probably saw videos like this. Tropical Storm Irma's waves slamming into the battery wall downtown. Well, now we know the city's plan to lessen future flooding problems. And the price tag is steep. An estimate of $2 billion. Of that $2 billion, the city would be responsible for just shy of $1 billion. City of Charleston spokesperson Jack O'Toole says the remainder would be the state's responsibility. Areas like state roads, MUSC's medical district, the College of Charleston, the Citadel, and the port. O'Toole says last year, Mayor John Tecklenburg created the position of resiliency director and filled it with Mark Wilbur. Since then, Wilbert's been working on a resiliency plan for the city. Here's the breakdown of that plan. $400 million to finish projects from the city's 1984 flood study. $100 million for the existing seawall. $125 million to extend the seawall to Brittlebank Park. Up to $200 million for West Ashley drainage and infrastructure. Up to $100 million for the city's portion of raising roads and infrastructure. O'Toole says the city plans to seek federal, state, and private money. They'd also like to change state laws so the city could put some of the burden on the 6 million visitors that come to Charleston each year. And those are just future plans. O'Toole says there's about $200 million worth of projects happening around the city right now. Also last week, U.S. Congressman Mark Sanford was in town touring flood damaged areas of West Ashley. He says he plans to apply for a federal grant to help with those problems. Live in downtown Charleston, Ashley Osborne, News 2.